Salutations, and welcome back to Build Battle. Today we are going to be building cheese. I hope this does not wind up being a repeat of that one time that I created a sponge that looked nothing like a sponge, but it's very, very possible that that is indeed going to be the case. What does cheese look like? All right, let's just construct a table for ourselves here because nobody wants to have cheese that's just been sitting on the floor. It's not going to be quite exactly square, but nobody needs to eat cheese off of a square table necessarily. It's instead going to be rectangular. It would be really funny if this was actually perfectly square. It will still be rectangular because every square is a rectangle, but not every rectangle is a square, so remember that if you're ever taking geometry. All right, there's a table and it only has a few holes in it. I don't think that's a square. It doesn't matter. Let's create for ourselves now a plate. You may be asking yourself, what kind of plate has ever been constructed out of wood? And there are definitely plates that have been constructed out of wood in the past, but it's definitely not a common thing, I think. Maybe it is. I just live in a part of the world where plates constructed out of wood are not common. All right, time to make cheese now that we have only half of our time remaining. The idea is to make this sort of very dark yellow rind around the cheese, make it look like there's a slice that's been taken out of it, and then fill the rind in around that slice, and everybody will recognize it as the cheese wheel that it is. All right, that looks very, very vaguely like cheese. Let's put like some cheese crumbs on the plate, I guess. Um, let's see, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Let's get some custom skulls in here. And now there's something that looks kind of like a mouse. Great. And look, a mouse. That's crazy. Who would, who would think to create a mouse when the theme is cheese? I mean, I don't know. That, that seems like a kind of silly thing to do, honestly. And now we get Sponge. My old nemesis. This looks kind of like a pizza, not really cheese, in my opinion. And now we have, um... The Cheese Man, I guess. I, I don't know. I've never... I, I don't know who that is. And a mouse trap. That would actually probably have been a pretty good idea instead of just making a table. I, I have this bad habit of making tables and people don't really seem to appreciate me creating tables. And we're back, we're creating a book. One of the themes that could have been chosen was Comet, and I think that a Comet would have been actually fun to build, but nobody seems to agree with me. All right, let's see, what does a book look like? I will never learn from my mistakes. I'm going to create for myself a table. Actually, no, I'm gonna create something resembling a bookshelf, I think. And now that I have only three minutes and 20 seconds remaining, let's create an actual book to put on this bookshelf. All right, time to get more efficient about things. We're just gonna make the outline of the books, and that way we don't need to do the entire thing, and nobody will be the wiser. And just like that, I managed to actually make the perfect width for this bookshelf to contain as many books as I want. I am a genius. That was completely and totally planned. All right, those look kind of like books, except for the fact that half of them have pages that are shorter than the others, but it doesn't matter. All right, and now I just need to incredibly quickly construct one more book, and I'm messing everything up right now, so that's probably not gonna go very well for me. Okay, I misplaced one block, but it's fine. Let's see, that's... A, b a book full of sand. You open it and sand pours out. I think I know a certain Jedi who would very much despise that. And somebody tried to do some pixel art, which is unfinished, but I'll give it an okay because I know what they were trying to do, I guess. And somebody actually finished a pixel art of a book, which I'll give an okay because I'm not all that fond of pixel art, but whatever. And this is a pop-up book, I guess. Again, okay. Uh, I'll give it a good pop-up book. That's creative, I suppose. And a fantastic bookcase. Nobody's ever seen a bookcase quite like this before. Ignore that one singular block that's been misplaced. And another bookcase. Who would build a bookcase? The theme is clearly book. It's supposed to be just one book. Why would you build an entire case for your books? All right, well, it turns out that the Bible was better than all of the other things, although I was only 10 points behind. All right, we finally almost got a theme that I thought might be fun. It was Mars, but it turns out nobody wants to build Mars. People want to build an octopus. Octopus is all right as well. 
we'll turn it to water because octopi live in water and let's see now you know what scratch the water idea we're gonna build it as if it's already in water and just above the seafloor or something all right i might have gone a little bit big with this octopus which is definitely not a problem whatsoever it's gonna be fine don't worry about it i will see you once it's finished maybe all right i forgot about the part where you cannot place um, heads on the bottom of blocks, so this might not actually look quite as good as I wanted it to, but oh well. Alright, that looks vaguely octo octopoidal, I guess? That does not really look vaguely octopoidal. Now here's an octopus. That looks a lot more like an octopus than any of the other ones so far. This octopus seems to be extremely surprised about something. I don't know what. Whatever, whatever it is, it got cut off by the build limits. And this one seems to be very, very displeased at the existence of this ship. It's actually pretty good. Now this, this is an octopus. If I could build an octopus like this, I would build an octopus like this every time I needed to build an octopus. And it's Return of the Sponges. Ah, sponges. Alright, well this is kind of octopus-like. The eyes are a little bit, um, a little bit large for octopi, but... You know. And the extremely surprised octopus one, apparently. In the future, it would almost certainly be a very good idea to make your octopi slightly smaller, such that you don't wind up with basically just a weird misshapen blob that has a few strings attached to it, instead of, you know, an octopus. But either way, that is going to be it from me for this video of Build Battle. I hope you enjoyed, and stay safe. Goodbye.